Hi and welcome back to DS Tech Mirror. This channel is dedicated to deliver content related to SharePoint online customizations. And today we are going to see how we can bulk add Excel data into SharePoint list using Power Automate. This process is very simple and can be done in less than 5 minutes. So let's quickly go into our demo. For this process, we need an Excel sheet with data. And this is my Excel sheet, which is a book inventory with data converted into a table. You can see it from here. I have table one. Next, we have a list. And in the list, you may or may not have data. Next, let's go and create a flow to complete the process of adding bulk data. I'm going to create an instant flow. Make it a manual trigger. Create it. Next, we have to read the content from our Excel sheet. Using this action, which is reading the list rows present in the table. My location is OneDrive. OneDrive and the file is book inventory Excel sheet. And the table, table one, which we have already marked it. Next, for each list row, we will be looping it and processing the data. Apply to each. Pick the values from the previous action, which is the list of items. And when you try to process the list of items, the next action would be to check whether the data already exists in the list. So we do not want a duplicate data to be entered. Hence, we will have to check whether that particular data, which data row is already existing in our SharePoint list. For that, let me get items from my SharePoint list. Give the address of the SharePoint site. Select the list name. I'm going to make this field blank because I want the whole list. I Currently, my list does not have any folders. And in the advanced options, you have filter query. Now we have to pick a query in such a way that is unique and identify the data uniquely. Going back to my book inventory. So from this data, I can pick item code, which uniquely identifies my content. So going back over here, I have to add a query so that I have to pull out the column name of the item code present in my SharePoint list equal to equals my item code over here. Going back to my SharePoint list, this is my item code. I have to pick the internal name of this I column title. If you do not know the concept of internal name, don't worry. You have to go to list settings over here. Scroll down and you can find the columns. Here, when you click on the item code, Either you can hover over it and see at the bottom. Otherwise, click on it and you can see it over here. Item code. You have to select this value, which is the internal name and place it over here. Then EQ, which means equals and item code. That's it. So in the next action, what we have to do, we have to check the count of the retrieved items, whether it is zero. If it is zero, there are no duplicates and we can go ahead and add the item. If it is more than zero, then we can skip the action for that particular Excel row. So in order to check it, I have to go, I have to have a condition. Here, I have to check the number of list items which is being retrieved in the previous action. For that, 
you have a length function. Length of, go back to the dynamic content, select the values. So that's it, it will return my length. And if it is equal to zero, then I can process. So in the processing, in the if condition, I have to create an item in the list. Mention the site name, list name, and all the list columns which are present over here. I can see it over here. So one by one, we will be adding it from the dynamic content, not from get items, but from our Excel data. So item title. Then item code, category, stock, and price. So, so far, what we have done. Let's go back and check the process. So on a manual trigger, we are getting the list rows from the Excel table. We have provided the Excel location and the table name. For each retrieved Excel rows, we are looping it in an apply to each action. And prior to creating an item, we are checking whether the item already exists in the list. So that's why we have get items action. And in the get items action, we have filtered using the Excel row data item code. And if the returned items are the count is zero, then we are creating the item. Otherwise, we are not doing any action over here. Let me save it. I can just quickly go back and show you what all items are present here. We have 101105, 1007, And in my book inventory, I have a lot more items. Now let's go, save it, run the workflow. The flow is successful. Let's go back to the SharePoint list. I'm going to refresh it. I have a lot many items over here. Let me order my item code for easy understanding. You can see I have the items in a serial order and I don't have any repeating items. Totally. In my inventory list, I have 15 items and in my Excel sheet, there are 15 items. So that's it guys. We have automated the process of adding items from our Excel workbook to SharePoint list using Power Automate in a very simple way and in a very short time. If you like the content that I'm sharing, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. You can also contact me through email, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching the video. Much love. Keep learning.